Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Libra love connection reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my videos all the way through. I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. All right, so we're going to get some Romance Angels for the middle, and then I have a deck for Libra, a deck for Capricorn, and then I have a clarifying deck. So we'll see what's going on. So we have Worth Waiting For, Divine Timing is at Work in Your Love Life, we have Honeymoon, Enjoy the Bliss of Holiday Time Together, we have Keep an Open Mind, Your Soulmate May Differ from Your Usual Type and Expectations. So it could be that you are not in union yet um, because this partner is worth waiting for and this is somebody different from your usual type. And if your usual type hasn't been working, then this is a good thing <laughs> because <coughs> this is one that's going to work or have a much better chance of working. I also feel like if the two of you are struggling right now, that maybe the two of you need some alone time together. Maybe the two of you need that time where you just focus on each other, you focus on your relationship. Sometimes, you know, with life, things get really busy and you don't have time or you're not making time for that relationship for the two of you, okay? Um, Let's see, I feel like I need one, one more card. Oh, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So that's what I was feeling. Um, is that for some of you, it's about focusing on this relationship. And, and this, this relationship is worth, you know, waiting for. It's worth working things out. Um, the grass is not always greener on the other side. And relationships, any type of relationships, friendships, um, relationships with family members, I mean, any type of relationship is difficult. But you both have to be in the same frame of mind to where you want to work on this together. All right. And it could be that alone time that you're not spending enough, you know, that date night together. All right, so let's see what's going on with Capricorn. So Capricorn, we have Ten of Cups. We have Justice. We have the Hangman. For some reason, when I turned that card over, I felt like that was the worth waiting for card. Like, I feel like that, I felt like that connection between the two. Then we have the Hangman. We have the King of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Prince of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Princess of Wands. And we have the Lovers, all right? So I definitely feel like Capricorn feels this happiness, feels this connection with Libra, because we've got the lov Lovers for an overall energy. We've, our first card out was the Ten of Cups, and that's that, you know, that connection, that happy relationship, you know, feeling that um, connection with a person. In the middle, we do have the Three of Swords, so there, I feel like that represents a disconnect between the two of you because the Three of Swords can mean that. It could mean that either you are physically not together in the same area, like one of you lives in, in one town and one the other one lives in another town. So there could be that, you know, as that physical distance um, disconnect. Um, it also could be a mental disconnect between the two of you, that the two of you are just not connecting like you used to. Um, so I feel like that's what it is. There could be some hurt that Capricorn is feeling from Libra, but I feel like that's probably having to do again with that distance, that not connecting. Um, I feel like Capricorn wants to get the fire back, wants to get the passion back. We have this Prince of Wands charging right towards Libra. And we also have the Hangman, which represents looking at things from a different perspective. 
um, having a new outlook on things. Maybe it is about, because this is kind of near this honeymoon card where it's about enjoying alone time together. Maybe the two of you just need to, to, to get away. Maybe the two of you need to take a trip together and to refocus on yourselves. All right. Let's see. You both have the two of swords. We have the two of swords here and we have the two of swords there. Making that decision. What is it that you want to do? But it's like not having all of the information. I feel like maybe this is a different kind of relationship for the both of you. And maybe that's what you're using. Like you're feeling like that disconnect. But I feel like the difference is a good thing. We have the star and we have the Capricorn, okay? Um, which the Justice card is a Libra card, which I don't know why I didn't pick up on that. But I, I guess I was just feeling that worth waiting for. So I feel like for Capricorn, yes, Libra is worth waiting for. So if the person hasn't come into your life yet, that this person is definitely worth waiting for. So you each have the other person's card. So I, I do, I have felt that this is a strong connection, a good connection between the two of you because you each have the other one's card. And to me, that's a sign that you're thinking about the other person, that you care about the other person, that that person is on your mind. All right, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which can also represent Capricorn, we have the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords and the Magician. I feel that with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords that you're waiting to make a decision on something, Libra, that you're waiting to decide between the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. I feel like there is something that you are trying to decide on involving Capricorn. Um, but I feel like you need more time and I feel like that time should be the two of you being alone and connecting. Um, we have the page of wands and that represents an email or a text. It represents some sort of communication. But I feel like with it facing this way, I almost feel like Capricorn, it's Capricorn communicating with Libra. Maybe the two of you just need to sit down and you need to talk about things and you need to, I feel like, I feel like maybe this is like a surface relationship. It's, it's not a relationship where it goes deeper. But I feel like that's what you both want. But I feel like maybe because this is a different type of a relationship, like you're both not, you're both not sure how to handle this relationship. So, you know, maybe because it's so different from other relationships, you're like, how do I even handle this? But it's like you don't even have to handle it. I think that if you both, if you're both just yourself, but you do have to trust in that other person to make you feel secure that you can let your walls down. I think that goes for both of you. We have the magician as an overall energy for Libra, and that represents. And we have the infinity sign, which represents individual empowerment and everlasting love. And it also represents having the power to make things happen. Like I said, you both have to be on the same page about what it is that you want. Capricorn has the lover's card here. And that's feeling that connection. And maybe for the magician, it's like this is a magical relationship that Libra is feeling. But I just feel like the two of you need more time alone. I feel like this relationship needs to go deeper. And maybe that's why um, the both of you are trying to make a decision. Is like, do I trust this person? Do I let my walls down? Do I keep going with this relationship? And I feel like you're, you know, you both have the two of swords. You're both questioning something. But I almost feel like you're both questioning the same thing. And then if the, if the two of you communicate more, then you'll find that out. 
All right, Page of Pentacles, good positive changes coming in. Right on top of the Ten of Cups, we have the Justice card, which is the Libra card, and that's about balance and, you know, things working out. Getting back to it, I feel like your relationship kind of was going along and then it just kind of stalled, like it just kind of stalled out. And then it's like, you're both like, well, do we keep going with this or do we not keep going with this? But I feel like... I do feel like the two of you want to, but you're almost questioning, does the other person want to? And then we have the Knight, we have the knight of Wands again, heading towards Libra, you know, making that effort. We have the, the King of Wands, and that is somebody who is very wise. And he's sitting there with his hand on his chin, and I feel like he's thinking about the situation, and I feel like that's Capricorn, like you are thinking about the situation. There is some things that you need to let go of, and I feel like that has to do with tearing down walls. I feel like that has to represent I feel like that represents um, letting some of your walls down and letting labor in and maybe Capricorn you haven't had a relationship before where you felt like you want to let your walls down like you want to let your guard down where you want to let somebody in and I feel like maybe Libra is different and you're you're having that feeling but it's almost like you're afraid of that you're like well I don't know you know I don't want to get hurt again um, but in order to have this, this lovers, this deep connection with someone, you have to be vulnerable and you have to let that person in. And I almost feel like that that's where you are with Libra. And I feel like maybe before Capricorn with relationships, when you got to this point, you're like, no, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to find a reason to have a breakup. I'm going to find a reason to walk away so I don't have to let my walls down. But I feel like Libra is someone that you really care about because you have this lover's card that you do want to let your walls down. Um, and, and, and that may be what you're, you're, you're struggling with. And this three of swords here, you know, it could be that disconnect, but it also could be that you're also thinking about past heartbreaks that you've had before in other relationships, and that could be stopping you. The death card also represents transformation and transition. So I feel like this, you know, relationship could really transform you. And look at that right in the middle, nine of cups. Nine of cups card has been coming out a lot for Capricorn lately. I feel like this is a relationship that, you know, you've got the lovers in the ten of the ten of cups. Like this is a relationship that you've been looking for and maybe this is just becoming overwhelming and it's like, well, be careful what you wish for because here it is. And don't self-sabotage it. Don't try and find reasons to, you know, make this not work out. Like, I feel like it's come to the point where it's like, okay, you've got to let the walls down. Like, you've got to take it to the next step. Instead of walking away, you have to hang in there and you have to take it to the next step. <clears throat> Seeing that future with Libra. And of course... This is a reading for the Capricorn that feels that strong connection with Libra. If this is a completely toxic relationship where there are bad vibes and there's bad energies and there's cheating and there's all this other stuff, that's not what this reading is about. This reading is about feeling safe with Libra, having a relationship with, with Libra that you feel safe in, that you want to let your walls down, that you feel this is your dream relationship. This is a relationship that you've been waiting for. And it's about Libra who feels this connection with Capricorn. Like this is, this is such a strong relationship that it's almost like it's making the two of you, you nervous. Because you're like, like I said before, be careful what you wish for because I feel like this is it. I feel like this is the connection. But I also feel like the two of you have to work on this and you have to spend some more time together and I feel like there has to be some more communication. I do feel like, you know, Capricorn is seeing that future with this um, Libra and then on the Two of Swords we have the King of Pentacles and that represents Capricorn and I feel like it's saying that you need to make a decision here but King of Pentacles is also somebody who is willing to put in the work, somebody who is patient. So it's about going at the speed in this relationship that you feel comfortable with. I feel like you're seeing this relationship so different from different eyes, from past relationships. You're seeing this relationship in a different way. 
and it's making you feel different and it's maybe making you feel a little nervous like I said before but it's about taking it slow and going at your pace and making sure that you communicate that with Libra instead of just backing off and saying oh I got to take this slower and then Libra is not sure how to interpret that and then that can be cause problems as long as you keep that you know line of communication open and you say Libra hey like this is really a beautiful relationship to me but I just need to take it slower at my pace you know because this is a this is new area and this is new roads traveled for me <laughs> all right this is emotional fulfillment this is emotionally feeling happy this is emotionally feeling really good with this relationship and don't block that off don't stop that okay don't think about the negative we've got the two of cups here so don't think about you know what are those things that you can look for to walk away like what are those problems yes everyone's going to you're going to find negative things about you know another person you know it could just you know it could be you know living with someone else or being with somebody else is adapting their habits also but it's like you can't focus on those you have to focus on the positive because you have things that will bother the other person too we I mean we all have those things um, but it's about not you know it's about not focusing on those but focusing on the two of cups I feel like you know Capricorn don't I just feel like this is a beautiful relationship and and so I know that it may be overwhelming you've got this nine of cups right in the middle so so don't let this pass you by be be brave and like I said communicate and take it at a pace that you feel comfortable with all right we have the two of swords and then we have the moon not not making a decision yet Libra's not making a decision yet we have the star card which is hope and then we have the ace of wands wanting that fresh start I feel like Libra has a lot of hope for this relationship and I feel like Libra feels like the, a very strong connection here we have the star card again and that's on top of the the Capricorn card I, I feel like Libra is very attracted to Capricorn and, and sees that hope um, we have the king of cups and then on top of the page of wands um, kind of just going with the flow and seeing what happens we have the nine of wands and then we have the strength card maybe this has been a little frustrating for Libra because they're not really sure what's going on with Capricorn so that's why I said Capricorn you have to make sure that you communicate with Libra but Libra wants to be strong and Libra wants to hang in there we have the ten of Pentacles and we have the magician again making things happen we have the infinity sign again which is individual empowerment and everlasting love I feel like that's what Libra feels like they have found. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like Libra also feels like Capricorn is their best friend. Like Capricorn is someone that they can trust, that they can rely on, that's steady, that's that's there for them, that will be there for them. The Empress represents marriage and birth. Okay, I feel like, you know, this could be, you know, something that turns into marriage that turns into children that turns into this family energy here I feel like that's what Libra is feeling and I feel like it represents you know growing a long-term relationship having that connection like ready to put the effort into this relationship oh and then we have I feel that we have ace of cups on top of the eight of swords so that's about Libra wants to make this decision, but again, there's a few things about Capricorn that they're questioning, so they want to have that, so they're, they're waiting until the time is right to move this relationship to the next level, but I do feel that the two of you, because we have, I do feel that the two of you need some alone time, and we have this Four of Swords, which is waiting again on the decision to a sword. So, so Libra's really waiting. And maybe because Libra is waiting, has this Two of Swords two times. Capricorn is taking this as maybe Libra's not interested or maybe something's going on with Libra. And that's what I was saying is I feel like the two of you want the same thing, but you're not communicating with it. And I don't want you to interpret the other person's actions as a negative because that's that's that will it will create a wedge in here that just really isn't necessary because the two of you do feel strongly about each other um, 
and I just feel like it's it's having more communication. Again, we have the Magician and the Four of Swords. So Libra's got Four of Swords twice. Libra's got Two of Swords twice. Um, so I feel like Libra's holding back, but I feel like that's because of the energy that they're getting from Capricorn. And I feel like this energy right here, this Four of Pentacles and this Five of Cups, holding back, blocking, keeping to yourself, that that's what's making Libra question about, well, where do I go from here? Like, what's going on here? Like, I don't want to put myself on the line if Capricorn isn't feeling it. And Capricorn's like, well, why is Libra not moving forward? Um, so I just feel like your wires are crossed right here. But I do feel that once you communicate and you spend this time and, and together and you take things slow at a pace that is works good for both of you and you give this relationship a chance, I really think that there is a strong connection between the two of you. I definitely feel like you're feeling it and you can see a future with the other person. I definitely feel like that's going on between the two of you. All right, so let's close out with a romance card. Look at that, that one literally flipped over. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. <laughs> I love it. Cupid's arrow, look, there's Cupid's arrow right there. There's Cupid, right there. All right, and he's got his bow in his hand. Cupid's arrow strikes. I love it. Perfect. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.